I've been looking for um, on Monday Night Raw as of late is, is when Ryback is coming back. I I just read a story today about R Ryback uh, being you know basically ready to return and uh, Ryback uh, just sort of waiting for the uh, uh, people at bay. I guess you can say the uh, creative team at, at WWE basically um, for him something to do on the show. He just hasn't been written in yet. Um, at the end of August, um, you know, Ryback had to go in and get surgery. Uh, I didn't even really know what the surgery was. I just figured that, you know, they were going to go in and they were going to do a whole bunch of work on this guy. Last time Ryback was out was when he was a member of the, the Nexus, as still as Skip Sheffield. He broke his ankle, and, uh, you know, Skip Sheffield didn't return for rest to wrestling for close to two years after that from an ankle break. So I thought that with Ryback, I, I thought anything was uh, sort of... Uh, out there to happen, but it seems that he's already ready to go. It says that he went in and, and he had his uh, groin worked on where he had uh, uh, just a massive groin pull. He had a couple of the hernias, which has been keeping Roman Reigns out, and uh, he's he's back in 100%, and he's just sort of waiting uh, for what's going to go down. Ryback is a guy that has always had uh, Vince McMahon's uh, special attention, uh, thinking that he's going to be a guy. Of course, you can look at you know WrestleMania 29, uh, Ryback loses to Mark Henry in, in, in a big surprise to a whole bunch of people. It's almost like one of those matches that every once in a while Vince will say, you know, I'm going to have this guy lose just because nobody's going to see it coming. Ryback um, wrestling in his first WrestleMania, losing to, to Mark Henry made no sense to me. And of course, you know, months after that, Ryback would come out, turn heel on John Cena, setting himself up for a WWE Championship shot, which made sense. And I mean, like, if you look in the in the past, Bobby Lashley uh, was a big-time babyface, and he wanted a shot at the championship, and he went up against Cena because Cena was the biggest dog in the yard at the time, and Lashley pretty much almost turned a heel uh, on the run to those matches. And uh, when they were done, he just... Jump back in, uh, jump back into being babyface Bobby Lashley, and I thought that's what they would do with Ryback. But from there, um, he went into this sort of a, a deal with uh, uh, Paul Heyman, being a Paul Heyman guy, going up against CM Punk. Uh, of course, they had the the rematch. Uh, they they did it two years in a row at Hell in the Cell. Uh, and once uh, it, when he's basically switching. Once was one time they were babyface and heel, and next time they were heel and babyface. Um, and that sort of played into the story as well as CM Punk was trying to get his hands on Paul Heyman for churning on him and costing him the match at um, Money in the Bank just because Paul Heyman was told to stay out of CM Punk's way. You know, he didn't need him out there at ringside anymore after the payback show. He was going off in a new direction and basically CM Punk didn't want to be a bad guy anymore. Um, Ryback, to me, honestly, you know, he got put into the tag team with Axel, where... Honestly, in wrestling, sort of, what, what makes sense to me is they should have been baby faces. They were mad at Paul Heyman dumping the pair of them to, to go off and manage Brock Lesnar. That they stayed heels and were a team together despite Paul Heyman. When they should have became babyface tag team that was going out and trying to beat Brock Lesnar or at least trying to get their shot at Paul Heyman. And instead they just carried on their, their evil ways. Without them, they got put in the, uh, the the WrestleMania 30 pre-show as a as a tag team to go after the the, the, the titles. They had a, a feud with Stardust and Goldust for a little bit, and um, I mean that's really all they've done in the last year. So if Ryback comes back and he does get a big singles push, which I think a lot of people are, are really going for, I'm all for it. Keep him away from Curtis Axel. Um, Curtis Axel. Get him out there as a singles guy. Ever since Rybaxel, uh sort of broke up with the with the injury, I haven't seen him as much. I thought that he'd be uh, at least doing jobs on Raw or SmackDown, but they've been keeping him off. Just don't have these guys go in there as a team anymore. I don't want to see them fight uh, each other or anything like that. Just go their separate ways, act like it never happened, and uh, see what we can do. Uh, I